Hi, I'm Josh Fielstra with Native Instruments, and I'm happy to introduce the new plug-in hosting features in Machine 1.6. This represents a radical addition to Machine's overall workflow. Machine can now host any VST or audio units plugin, whether it's made by NI or third parties. As always, we've gone to great lengths to make sure that you can do as much as possible directly from the machine controller itself. Please feel free to consult the additional setup video to figure out how to configure your plugins inside Machine. Machine 1.6 introduces a new module structure. The source, effect, and output tabs have changed slightly. Instead, pressing the modules button exposes four different modules that can contain anything. Samples, effects, plugins, whatever you like. Could, for example, have up to four individual effects at the same time, or it could have one sampler or plugin followed by three effects, as I have here. Now, this greatly increases the flexibility. You can have whatever you want in any of these slots, customize the workflow to exactly what you're looking for. Furthermore, if you get a particular module loaded with exactly what you want, you've done some changes to the parameters, and you want to save that, you can do that on the machine software. You just select the module in question in the software and choose Save As. I can give it a name and then save it. And now that module will be available directly from the machine browser, so I can load it at a later time, bring in all of the sounds and parameter settings at once. Lastly, if I deactivate the Modules tab, I will have access to Swing per Sound, explained a little later, plus the normal Output tab that you're probably already familiar with. On the software, each of the modules is available on its own tab, like so. For example, you saw a moment ago how I went into the Save As dialog on this module. The Groove and Output sections that I mentioned just a moment ago are available via their own button just to the left of the parameter section. After following the setup video, your plugins will show up directly inside the machine browser. First, choose a module, as explained a moment ago, and then choose a pad onto which you'd like the plugin to be instantiated. Then, press Shift plus Browse. Now you can see here there's a new section that says Type. You want to change this from Internal to Plugin. You can then change the second knob to be either an instrument or an effect depending on the kind of plugin you'd like to load. I'm going to choose Instrument. On the right-hand LCD, you'll then see all of your plugins. I'll load this one, Massive. Now, leaving Browse Mode and then pressing the module that has the plugin on it, you can see it says Massive right there, will open that plugin's GUI in the machine software. To load a plugin via the machine software, go to the module that you're interested in and go to its drop down menu and choose a plugin. Now, I just loaded an instrument, but you might want to load an effect. The procedure is the same. Let's put uh, an effect on this particular drum kit. I'll put guitar rig on the second module here. Go into the drop down. This time I will choose Guitar Rig. Now, to open the plugin's GUI, click on the plugin name just to the left of the parameter area. Note that you can only load an instrument into the first module, whereas you can load an effect into any of the modules, as you saw a moment ago when I loaded Guitar Rig. Now, once you have an instrument loaded, you're going to get all the benefits of features such as keyboard mode, and things like note repeat. After leaving Browse Mode, 
you'll automatically be presented with whichever parameters the plugin passes to machine. Instantly tweakable via machine's eight knobs. Now, if the plugin passes more than eight parameters, you'll have access to those additional parameters on different pages from the machine controller using the left and right cursor keys. Now you can of course make your own mappings. This is pretty easy to do. All you'll need to do is right click on one of the mappings in the machine software and choose the option Learn Plugin Parameter. Now touch the corresponding parameter in the GUI that you'd like to map it to and the assignment is made. Alternatively, you can also go into the same drop-down menu and choose Clear All Assignments. That will give you a fresh start. Now you can map them all one by one. I might recommend that you choose the option Enter Learn Mode. Now what I can do is touch one at a time all the various parameters in the GUI that I'd like to control and they'll all be assigned in series. You can exit this Learn Mode by either assigning all eight for that page or going back into the drop-down and choosing Leave Learn Mode. The last thing to mention is that if you'd like to save these mappings for later recall, go into the drop-down menu on the module itself, choose Save as Default, and now the next time you load that plugin, your mappings will all be recalled as you left them.